So they have you on, on, on camera swapping tags, mm -hmm. price tags, yeah. and stuff like that, okay? So the total amount that you should have paid was over $200, mm -hmm. roughly. Over $200? Yeah, because- What? This. I just came here to see if they had my mom's sleep aids here. Why did you stay? Because I just came here to see if they had my mom's sleep aids here. Why did you steal? Because I've been locked in my house for nine years with a husband who controlled me. What does that have to do with your stealing? I and I hope you didn't tell your son that you forgot to pay for it. I didn't tell him that. Okay. Because I already told him, I said, you made a mistake and you made a bad decision. Hold that thought. I told him that you made a mistake and you made a bad decision. Real quick. Okay. What do you have to talk to him about? I'm gonna talk to you. What you did? Do you have your ID? Do you have your ID on you? Bro, two twenty four. We're ten four. All right, Carla. Mm -hmm. All right. Now before we talk, I'm just gonna read you something. Okay. Do you know why you're in here? My name is Deputy Fong, Fire County Sheriff's Office. Right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can, anything you say you can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand your rights that I have explained to you? Yeah. All right. So. Probation Okay, so what is going on tonight? Honestly, it goes a long way. Going through divorce, just don't have any money and didn't know what to do. Okay. So they have, like I said, they have camera footage Literally, of everything. Literally, I've so. been living in a house with no water. Okay. Nothing. All right. Do you still have this on you? No. I don't have that on me. No? No. Okay. So they have you on, on, on camera swapping tags. Mm -hmm. Price tags yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, so the total amount that you should have paid was over two hundred dollars, mm -hmm. roughly. Two hundred dollars. Yeah, because what? This what they're scanning right now is at one eighty nine. From what you For what? Well, just along that Lego set, it was almost a hundred dollars. Oh my god! Thank you. Okay, and then my, plus the other other clothing mm -hmm. and stuff. One of the one of the pants was like. 25, 30 bucks, and you put a new tag on it. How were you putting the tags on on that? I didn't those? put those tags on that. They were hanging in the clearance aisle. Okay. I, they, like I said, I got they, them, yeah. You didn't take any of the tags no, off the pants? No. What, were, what tags I, did you, you switch? If you look at the video, I'm in the clearance aisle all the time. What tags did you swap them? Just the um, sticky ones. Okay, how many items did you swap? Um, a folder, the Lego set. I told him that. The folder, the Lego set, and. And nothing, and then a bag didn't have a tag. Okay, 
That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what the please price of that bag is. Please don't violate me, guys. Please. So. Oh, my God, I can't go to jail. You guys don't understand. I'm, I'm going to talk it's with. I'm talking with. Friday. Listen, I'm, I'm talking with Taylor. He's getting a total amount of what everything he says. It's going to be up to them what they decide to do, okay? So, until then. Can you then, please make sure they take those, the ones I did not change those? Let me, let me talk to Taylor, and, yeah. uh, and we'll go from there. Okay. I'm, I'm still recording, but um, she's saying a lot of this. Uh, do you have like pretty much all of her on camera about her like removing tags and stuff like that? Yeah, we have her taking like, taking tags off of the clothing and putting on other clothing. Okay. Working the tag off of one of the all motion pants, and then we have her selecting like, the cosmetic stuff. Okay. Also, take a switch and like the Lego stuff. And we'll to know. Okay. That right, sounds good. Where does Dad live? I don't even know. He won't give me his address. You sure you don't have this on you? No, I promise you. Where is it then? I have no idea. I tossed it. Okay. You can probably see me in the video tossing. Sit on that real quick. Okay, first. Right, so what am I going to do with the shelf? So what am I going to do with the shelf? I'm going to get you. So what am I going to do with the shelf? I'm going to get you. They're going to say that. What's your first name? She didn't pay for the soda. The only thing she didn't pay for. It's okay. We got we got a receipt for everything. Okay. She forgot to pay for it. So I'm just trying to. I don't know if they explained it to you, but they've they've seen you do this on other occasions as well. Okay. Which is probably one of the reasons why they're pursuing charges. Hello? Uh, um, if you walk in the first set of doors, the officer will be right there to Jackson. Is he here? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Come, come with me? Is this Grandpa? Jackson. How are you So just so you understand what's going on, they they might not have pursued charges, but she's done this multiple times in this store. In this store? Yes. I don't understand. I gave her money to go I get sleep aids and tea. I'm like, go to Dollar General. She's been doing this, yeah, she apparently. Didn't know the soda okay. It has, that's not the, it has nothing to do with your soda, buddy, okay? But, and Grandpa will explain everything to you, okay? I already kind of gave him a speech. My mom made a mistake, but she knew it was wrong. But, um, yeah, they, they, they just haven't caught her until today. She's ripping, um, she's switching tag prices on right. stuff, and, and, you know. I know where she gets it from. I left Dollar General two weeks ago with a 12 pack of water. I forgot all about it, so I went all the way back and talked. So I forgot to pay for this. And the lady was looking at me like, and I saw. I did it too for plastic utensils. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where so, you get to um, But you're good to go to take him. All right. Uh, okay. I just, Do you have yeah, any questions for me? She's got my elder car here, but that, I can only drive one at a time anyway. Yeah, well, it, it should be all right if you want to make sure it's locked up. Yeah, I just told her where she's parked. Do you know where mom parked? Sorry to uh, uh, appreciate so you getting here so quick. She's quickly. going, I guess, to. Yeah. So I'm not going to see her tomorrow, at least at the earliest. Um, Probably she could bond out tonight if you wanted to bond her out, but that's up to you. Funny thing is, she's out of the I know. She's actually she's going to be violated probably in the morning. Okay. They they might not let her bond out tonight because she violated her probation by doing this. This might but, be uh, might be it for her. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Seems like she's perfuming in the pig with with him. But I already told him I said she made a mistake. You know, but she did something wrong. So trying to help her. I mean, she's going through a rough time, but you know, five kids, husband. Moving into the house, she's coming a little bit off, but I'm like, yeah, she's not helping herself right now. Yeah, that's like for I sure. Refuse to go to the store hmm? I, I refuse to go to the store with her because I'm like, bring me out. I'm like, it's almost every time. Yeah, I don't know. 
I don't trust her. <laughs> I'm her father. Well, that's bad. And it was nice meeting you. Hi. Do you want your soda? Okay, I'll get it for you. You want your soda and your what? Yeah, um... You want me to let me get my medicine? Um, no. I can't let you take medicine in my presence. I don't know if she paid for the Legos. She did pay for some items. Right. But... You might, you might, you might get them. I don't know, but right now we're still, we're still looking okay. into it. Okay. So, uh, you got my number? I mean, she's um, got let me, let me see real quick if we can get the things that she did pay for okay. to give to you. Okay. Can we get the things that she did pay for to give to, to Grandpa? What should, what should she take medicine for? Uh, not because she switched markers. Um, so no, nope, sorry. Because she's switching barcodes and stuff, so she didn't. She'll get her money back, but she won't get the items. So maybe another time. Okay. All right. Well, if she's if she's on something, they they can look it up at the jail. She needs something. They'll be able to give her some sort of. Might not be exactly what she gets. It might be, but I don't know. She's but. got well. She's got my number. But I don't know how often she's gonna be able to use her cell phone there. If she's not gonna be able to use her cell phone, but it, it, they'll let her use. Look up. Look up. And her cell phone, a phone number if she needs to call you. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thanks for being here so quickly. Well, we, we, we can't allow you to take medicine, which is what I told you. We can't allow you to take medicine. Well, why did someone actually have it on me that last time? I don't understand. When was the last time you went there? Not that freaking long ago, unfortunately. Why do you keep stealing? Your dad just said he gave you money. He did. He gave me $28, and then I just came here to see if they had my mom's sleep aids here. Why did you steal? Because... I've been locked in my house for nine years with a husband who controlled me. What does that have to do with you stealing? I've been locked in my house for nine years with a husband who controlled me. What does that have to do with you stealing stuff? I didn't stuff? have money or anything. What does so that have to do with you stealing stuff? And setting a terrible example for your son. Ma'am, you don't have to tell me how to be a mother. I understand. Don't tell me how to be a mother. I, I understand, understand I made a mistake. Example. I understand. Multiple times. Yes, you're right. You're a hundred percent right. Thank you for admitting it. Your total amount that you should have paid is two hundred and twelve dollars, and you only paid. There's no way for a Lego set. And Nineteen dollars and fifty cents is the only. You only scanned five items, which for those barcodes that you switched on to the other merchandise. They have everything on camera. They have you ripping tags off of clothing, putting stickers on other pieces of product. I didn't switch the the tags. So. Okay, so the cameras lie. And I hope you didn't tell your son that you forgot to pay for it. I didn't tell him that. Okay. Because I already told him. I said, you made a mistake and you made a bad decision. Hold that thought. I told him that you made a mistake and you made a bad decision. And that you knew what you did was wrong. And you're really giving your husband, I don't know what's going on with your divorce. You said you were going through a divorce. You're giving him ammunition against you to get possibly get your kids taken away from you. And your dad just said that you just got released for this, so the no, judges... I, I just got released because I tapped a car and they violated me. 
Okay, well, you're on probation, and they guarantee you that the judge is probably going to violate you, and now you're stuck in jail. And all because you wanted some extra stuff. Your, your parents are helping you out. You didn't have a need to steal anything. My parents do me the best they have. My mom has cancer. My dad barely has anything. So you needed a pop socket? I didn't take a pop socket! Then why did you have the wrapping? Why did you open up the wrapping if you weren't stealing it? I didn't. I ripped it in half. Why? I threw the other half. Why? Why not? Who cares? I don't get it. Why would you destroy the packaging? Why would you destroy the packaging? I don't know. That's a terrible lie. So you're setting an example for your son that he can walk around the store just ripping open the packaging. We get lied to on a regular basis and that's a terrible lie. I just want to throw this out. The kids spilled the soda. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if you heard what your dad said, but he says he doesn't want to go to storage with you because he doesn't trust that you're not going to steal anything. I'm not a bad man. Huh? I'm not a bad man. Well, but isn't it sad that your dad has to think that? Yes. Right. Are you able to to walk? All right. I need you to stand up and face away from me, okay? You gonna be better. Put your hands together like you're praying. Okay. Have a seat while we check the purse. Are you okay? Yeah, do it here. You got more money in here. What's in it? THC. Mm-hmm. That's a felony. No, I have a bank card. Where is it? It's not on me, but you can look up my name. When you have something like that, you're required to have it with you. And you know that. I didn't know that actually because my ID always works in the dispensary. What? I don't have to bring my med card, I can bring my ID. Because they can look it up, but once you get it, you are legally required to have that at all times. That's in my underwear. Is this yours or is this one? Yeah, you're going to find makeup and shit in there. Do they want to come look at this just in case? They need this. <laughs> yeah, I know. The pop socket's in there. So why did you lie about it? Because I felt stupid. Because <laughs> you were like, oh, we're pop socket, and I felt stupid. This too. Flippity. Is this? Is this? Uh, she lives in that area, yeah. This stuff? That's hers. That's not That's wrapped. That's, that's the reason why I'm asking. Any of this stuff? Oh, the underwear, yeah. Yeah, she's like the underwear. Oh, yeah. Uh, we weren't sure about the underwear. She put it in her purse in there. Yeah, yeah. Just give me out. Yeah, it's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. What about this? That looks like it's packaged. That looks like it's there too. You're not even showing yeah. me what she's giving you. I'm not required to. It doesn't belong to you either. Is it yeah. mine? <laughs> no, it's not yours. That's what we're trying to figure out, and they just said, no, it's not yours. So you can't even keep track of what you stole. Yeah, just pull them out of everything. In what way did you think you had a right for me to ask them if they if that was their property or not? 
you know you can lose your medical marijuana license for not abiding by their laws, right? I didn't know that. You should know that. It's your responsibility to know that. Just like having a driver's license. Why are you so mean to me? Jesus. I'm not being mean. I'm being blunt and honest. Mean to me. Just because you don't like what I'm saying doesn't mean it's mean. I'm being met. It's a it's a statement of fact. I it's your responsibility. Am I get it? I'm not being mean. I said it's your responsibility you have to, to know suffer that. the consequences, right? Yep. Exactly. What? Do you have an EBT card? Yeah, there's something on it. About the earrings. Never mind. Yeah, so. All Deputy Pano has to do is charge you with this for not following the rules and your bye bye the medical marijuana card. They're not, they're not sure, so. <laughs> Mind. Yeah, I don't know uh, for sure about that one. Well, we can't tell. We can't trust what you say is yours because you said those underwear were yours, which they're the stores. Yeah. They're from the stores. They showed me you opening up a four pack yeah, of underwear. I have a bunch of underwear in there. So they're not yours. I kept looking at them to see if they had two bags or two small. You can understand why I don't believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Just so you know, she does have does have her name on that for the tea, but she it's still Molly. But I'm just letting you know. Is it empty? This is empty, yeah, but it has her name on it. Okay. I guess the jail won't take it as anything. Like that. No, they hate this pen either. Taylor's going to get a price on those other things? Yes. Okay, we're going to get out of here. So just, um, actually, I'll wait for it. I'm going to get into my car and then I'll come back and get the receipt. Okay. All right, let's, let's walk out to the car. And, um, Taylor's just going to get There's No way I can get my medicine. Right? I don't know which car your, your dad took, so. Okay. So.